Hey guys, headed into the shop. Gonna give you an update on what's going on. Unfortunately, it all ain't good this time. We've got a little setback. Let me spin the camera around here. There's my lazy chair. Anyway, here's what's been going on. I've been working on getting the turbo completely finished up and I built all this bracketry to uh, hold the turbo and give it some support. Well, I got that done, had everything bolted up tight. The next step was to put the wastegate into the, here I'm getting ready to practice TIG welding with some silicon bronze. I was getting ready to use the precision wastegate to go into my hot side. So I had to pierce the two and a half inch hole for the little stand. And here was that hot side pipe that I had built previously. And what's happened was, let me get the light just right. It was, it was so darn, thick to work with I don't know if you can see that very well but I used a plasma cutter to, to, to get the beginnings of my two and a half inch hole and what I did the dross or slag you might call it is so hot that it blew across to the opposite side of the pipe on the inside and piled up on the inside of that wall and I have beat it to death and I can't get it out of there uh, so you know with the fear of that getting hot and breaking loose and going through my new precision turbo I think I've decided to build a new hot side pipe so that's where I've taken a little bit of a back step so uh, just a short update but that's what's going on I'm getting ready to have to build the new hot side that runs from here up to the flange bolt the turbo on at the same time all that's going on I'm giving consideration and I'm going to ask you guys about this to updating the turbo before I put the effort into this new hot side to go to a t6 flange turbo with a bigger like a 132 AR housing on the exhaust side. The farther I've got into this and the more studying I've done, I've come to realize that even the 5.3 liter motors, especially the bigger six liters, they build a lot of exhaust back pressure against these smaller turbos with the 75 millimeter exhaust wheels in them. And uh, it really lets the motors wind up and make a lot more power on the big end uh, to put the T6 style, like a S475 maybe, turbo on the cars but yet if you got a, a you know a good turbo still spools fast enough you can enjoy it on the street and uh i think that's more where i'd like to be so i'm considering making that change before i do this and selling the precision turbo 76 75 turbo which might be more suitable for uh maybe like a a street out a street piece for a smaller motor or maybe for a truck where you're in low rpms and you're towing and stuff like that so um, considering that so other than that that's that's where I'm at for now I, guys appreciate you following my channel and just keep documenting stuff as I go but this is kind of my first good little screw up I guess maybe the whole thing's a screw up I don't know but I'm going to call this my first one that's all thanks